All right, change of plan. After looking at the filler panel, I don't think I want to do it right now. I don't want to weld it in. Right now I have sheet metal screws holding it in right here, here, and on the back side. And as you can see, clamps and everything. But I got an okay line right here. Gap, excuse me. And over here, it's a little open, but I can probably tighten it up. But, you know, I, I want to hang off uh, doing this. Hold off on doing this hang off. So, it's it's down there. It's not moving. I've already measured the window. I got the measurements. So, I'm going to go ahead and work on the trunk and the tail panel, which are crap. As you see, the trunk is just full of holes. Termites. Rust-eating or metal-eating termites. Anyhow. But first, I'm going to take off this tail panel. So, that is where we're going to go. We're going to hold off on the filler plant panel and work on the trunk and the tail panel. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull some stuff off. Hey, I'm working on the tail panel. <laughs> Look how thick this Bondo was, or is. That, to me, is thick. I can chip it off. So, I got a lot of chipping to do. <laughs> God, it's so thick. Anyways, moving on. All right. I chipped all that off. There's some of it on the floor. That's all Bondo crap. Anyways, as I was chipping off, I don't really need to remove it from there because there's no spot welds in here. <laughs> Waste of time. So, instead of drilling out all the spot holes, welds, I'm going to start cutting off what I don't need. And make sure I document everything so uh, I can put everything back in the same spot. All right, let's get to it. All right. I'm done for today, but as far as I got, just got the bottom edge of the tail panel to uh, remove all the spot welds and pull it off. Yeah, this thing looks like crap. I don't know what to call it. But it looks like you just welds on top of the floor pan of the trunk. So I gotta do some research and I think I might change that out. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. This is as far as I got. And I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Garage Log 2017-04. Yeah, 04, 04. Um, April 4th, 2017. Anyways, this is the first test fit of the tail panel on the trunk. Uh, it looks rough, but, you know, I think it's going to work. I mean, this side, actually, this side's better than the other side. I just got to work out the kinks. Oh, finger got in the way. Anyways, um, like I said, this is a rough fit, but, oh, man, it looks great. I just wanted to see it in place. It looks awesome. Now I gotta do a lot of other stuff. Board to follow. No, I'm on the wrong side. Here we go. 
So here's the tail panel. What I'm going to do is drill a couple of holes around here, get it prepped for welding around the corners. Um, the unknown I do not know, and I'm going to have to watch some videos because I don't know how to do this. Am I going to weld to this or I'm going to weld this to the supports? I'm not sure. So if I weld this to the supports, I got to put holes through the tail panel. Not really keen about that. No, not so much. All the way across. I'd rather weld from the inside all the way across. I don't know. I have to do some research on that, but I'm going to go ahead and start prepping. Seen a few. All right, garage log 2017 0410. All right. This is the second test fit of the uh, tail panel. It's getting look it's getting closer, but I still got some areas to work out. Um things not lining up around here or over here. Especially around this. I'm not sure what what's the measurements for that. I've looked online, but I really can't get a close up. I've tried to look at uh Camaros that are already out there, but you know, you walk up to a guy's Camaro and you start picking at this tail panel, you know, they get a little upset. But anyways, uh this is a test fit. My next step, I'm gonna go ahead and weld the quarter panels and the drop down by uh Quarter panels and the dr trunk drop downs on the bottom edge. I didn't weld those together, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Of course, I'm going to pull off the tail panel first. Then I'm going to put the tail panel back on, and then I'm going to start marking everything for welding the tail panel. So until then, see you later. All right, garage log 2017 0417. There is the trunk lid. There is the new trunk lid. Basically, I broke down. I didn't like this one because these are stripped out. And I tried to tab them out. It's still popping out a rat nest and whatever's in there. But anyways, I went ahead and bought another one. And there it is. So let's open that up. All right, there's the new deck lid on. Looks so much better. All right, this is Garage Log 2017-04-30. So it's last day of April. <clears throat> this is another fitting. I took it off the tail panel. And I had to do some uh, cosmetic work inside the trunk. I wanted to get that done before I put the tail panel on because it was easier to get to. And as you can see way over there, it's a um, quarter panel support. I put one on either side. Um, I had to get that done, so I got that done. It doesn't look pretty, so that's why we're not getting close on that one. <laughs> But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is, I got it fitted right now. I talked to a couple guys, um, how they did their tail panels, and it looks like everybody drilled from the outside. Everybody drilled from the outside. Here, 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 and here. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I thought about drilling from the inside, but um, I might change my mind. I don't know. That's where I'm at. This is where I'm at. So next steps, drill holes and start doing some welding. All right. Uh, I did the final fit of the tail panel, and I put in the plug plugs for the welds. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and weld the center. Move to the left or right, 
as my hand goes right, I'm staying left. That's nice. But I'm going to go right, plug weld those, plug weld. Then I'm going to go to either side, whatever, um, pull it out, massage it, whatever, and get my gap better, and then weld inside, which is going to look... Oh, look, let me show you the light. Right there. I'll do that on either side. All right, let me tell you what I just did. Um, I went ahead and uh, welded either side of the quarter panel to the tail panel. Also, I finished up the gutter, welded, and ground down, except for right around that area. Um, I'm leaving that open, meaning I didn't weld it until I get the uh, filler panel taken care of. And that'll be the next step after I get done with the tail panel. But I have the other side to still weld. And then this side as well. Um, on the inside of each. Okay, it is getting late. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. On the inside, i got to crawl in the trunk. Oops, sorry about that light. And I crawl in the trunk and weld the inside of the tail panel. Oh, flipping you off. Weld the inside of the tail panel right here. And then I'm going to go over here and do the same. And then I know there's a little gap, but that's why they make seam seal, right? Am I right? Somebody give me an amen on the seam seal. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. All right, I just got done welding the last part, and that would be the, and that is, the inside of the corners of the tail panel. So, the next step is I'm going to clean up this outside, and I'm going to use this lightweight stuff. I've never used it before, but it's just to smooth it out and give it that smooth appearance. <laughs> All right, there it is. Tail panel is finished, so we're going to stick a fork in it and call it done. Um, as you can see, you can see the lightweight body filler that I used. Flyweight U-pull. Stuff sets up really quick. I might have mixed it a little heavy on the hardener, but, you know, hey. Uh, it's easy to sand, but it worked out. So everything's welded on. The only thing I have to do is some... Uh, cosmetic stuff around the areas and I'm not gonna video or you know tape that or anything so tail panels on moving on we are moving on to the filler panel which is already set up for welding but first I have to take care of a lot of cosmetic stuff that I want to get done before I move on I want to put some seam seal around the edges Finish uh, block sanding it, and then uh, uh, probably put a little gray paint on there just to cover it up and make it look better, or I feel better about it. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, leave some comments, and see you next time.